Hey there guys, and welcome to episode 34 of my Pokemon Stadium Round 1 playthrough. In the last episode, uh, we just managed to get through Round 7 after so many, a uh, couple attempts of, you know, trying to get through it and failing. And on the bright side, we actually managed to get, uh, not lose any Pokemon in the last match, giving us actually have one continue that we can use in the final battle. Um, so hopefully, you know, hopefully we won't need to use it, but if we do need to use it, at least we'll have it, the option to do it, which is great. So let's get on to the final battle of Prime Cup Master Ball. Now you'll probably be surprised um, by one of the Pokemon that's on this team. That's right. They have a Mew. You can't have access to Mewtwo or Mew, in, at least not in this part of round one. And they, you have to face against a Mew. And they oftentimes have Mew on their team. In fact, they almost, they always have Mew on their team. So, that's gonna be fun. Can you sense the sarcasm? Um, anyway, moving on. So we got Mew, the psychic type. We got um, electric type. We got a normal type. Uh, water and ice type. Uh, rock and possibly rock, rock and ground type, and a fire type. So we can use. Um, We actually use Nidal Queen to take care of uh, the water and rock, the both Electrode, Rhydon, and Arcanine. So we're actually going to start with that. Um, well, we're going to use the Arcanine, but not use Nidal Queen, not start with it because if Mew gets sent out, Nidal Queen is going to be absolutely decimated by that. So, hmm. actually, we're going to start off with Arcanine. We're going to use Arcanine instead. Um, it is a problem if I have to deal with, uh, Rhydon, but other than that, I mean, I'll, I'll take that when it comes. So we're going to go with, uh, Arcanine, uh, I think Nidal Queen, and then we need someone to take down Mew, uh, so the best option for that would probably be, um, actually, second thought, change the list that around for a sec, and put Arcanine. Use Arcanine, then Starmie for the Rhydon and Arcanine, as well as for Cloyster. Um, Snowax will be a bit of a pain, depending if it, if it comes out. And then we're going to go with, um, I don't know if Mew learns Blizzard, uh, so I'm actually going to go for um, Jinx in the last slot. And hopefully this will work out to our advantage. Oh, let's go. We'll give it a shot. I have no idea who's going to be come out aside from the fact that Mew is probably one of them. Whoa. <coughs> okay. Now the one problem is here, if you go straight for Dig, then we got an issue here. So, I don't know what it has, so I'm actually just going to, whether it uses Dig or not, I'm going to straight for Agility, so that way I'll be faster regardless. Yep. Now it should be faster than it, so I should be able to use Dig before it uses Dig on me. So I'm going to give it a shot, see if I'm right. Yes, we're faster now. So we avoid the Dig. Whenever someone uses Dig or Fly, you always want to be the last one, the slowest one, because then you'll actually get hit off. And now that we're faster, we don't want to use Dig first. Um, so we actually will have to go for a Fire Blast. Unless it goes for Dig, then we'll go for Dig. Otherwise, if we go for Dig first, um, and then it goes again, it's going to avoid it. And it missed. Oh, no, it's Hyper Beam. Oh, gosh. We can, fortunately, we can take that. Now I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for a dig, so by the time we use it, um, the second turn, it'll take damage from it. And likely take it out, because we already did half damage to it, so... 
Unfortunately, I, Arcanine was bulky, otherwise I wouldn't be able to take that move. So, let's see. <sighs> they don't expect to start off with Arcanine, but fortunately Arcanine can deal with its own, um, deal with Growlithe and Arcanine, respectively. So that'll deal with that. And now that we're faster than most of its team, we can actually get another, um, another one off if we need to. Another, um, dig. Okay, we are definitely going to use Dig here. Because it has, as I've said many times before, Psychics have bad defense. So we're going to go for Dig because it's going to be faster than Mew. We at least survive one hit. hit um, it's all a mess. We'll see what moves it has. So it has Psychic. We know that, obviously. Hopefully, Dig will do a decent amount of damage since we're on Archon. It won't take, I know it won't take it out, but at least we want it to get a decent amount of damage done. We got a critical hit, too. So that brings it to under half health. Okay. So, we actually are, have a good setup here. I don't think it... I actually don't know what it learns. Um, so that's a bit of an issue here. Uh, so I'm going to send out Jinx and just work with Body Slam. Because, as usual, you know, focus on its defense is the best way to go. And we don't have anyone who can use status moves, so that's really the best we've got. Um, I don't know if Mew is faster than us. Um, go, for, yeah, go for Body Slam. I'm not going to bother with sleeping. I need to sleep. And we are faster, so that's why sleep is a little useless now. Okay, maybe sleep is helpful at drop. Let's see. It knows Thunder Wave. Okay. First time I've seen it use that, honestly, so I didn't see that coming. So now we actually are going to go for a level kiss. It's cheap, but I know this thing has some powerful move. Okay, try attack. But again, it's targeting our, it's our, uh, it's targeting our defense, which that's not good. So I'm going to put it to sleep and give ourselves a better chance. Hey, except it didn't work, so we try for one more time. If not, we have to deal with have Starry deal with it. At least it's not a critical hit, so we can at least take this one. As long as we and we got paralyzed, so we basically just threw our jinx away. Uh, if we didn't have Arcanine at the start, then this would have been fine. So now we got a bit of an issue here. We know I know Starmie is faster than it because Jinx is faster than it, and Jinx is slower than Starmie. So all we really need to do is just take it, like try with Bubble Beam or something. I'm not sure what to go for, though. We'll see what the rest of its moves are. Swift is not going to do enough damage to even bother with it, so... And I will not resort to Minimize. So I'll go for Thunder. Or actually, no, I'll go for Bubble Beam and then twice. And if it does, though, it'll be faster. Okay, it's not. If it was, we could slow it down. Not too... That wouldn't do bad. It does no thun... No, oh, yeah, right, Thunder Wave, so I should have expected that. I don't know. All depends on who's next. So you can see why Mew is such a pain, especially since you can't use Mew or Mewtwo against it. At least Psychic won't do much damage, so there's that. Oh, come on. This is not the time to be paralyzed. Come on. We need to get at least one extra turn for whoever's coming next. Okay, we have still more than half health left, and we're not paralyzed, so we're going to take Mew out. And we got a critical hit. We could have used it last turn, and that would have actually stopped us from being paralyzed. But, of course, that's random, so... I don't know if I can handle whoever's next. If it's, a, if it's an electric type, we've got a problem. It's Cloister. Okay. Resist every move it uses. So we're going to go... We're going to have to win with the Thunder. We're going to resist the Ice Beam, and it can't freeze us because we're already paralyzed. Yeah, so all I have to do is avoid getting paralyzed and actually make contact with Thunder. There we go. Alright. All we need is one more hit. And since it's season, I'm actually going to go... No, I'm not going to go for Swift, because that's not going to take it out in three hits. Really, it's taking on three hits. So I'm just going to have to hope that Thunder actually makes contact. It's going for takedown. 
which won't actually take us down. And then we just have to hope we hit it with thunder. We didn't get paralyzed, so come on, make contact, please. Yes! Thanks to a shadow lock, we have just finished Prime Cup Master Ball. That, that Mew, the, you know, the power, that's what they say, the power is here. <laughs> that Mew is a serious threat. Even, in, especially in Generation 1, Mew 2 and Mew, you don't want to mess with those. You don't want to have your own or just have one that's good enough against it. Or someone who's really powerful and doesn't have their weaknesses. Um, we just them. Right, big use of time. The Master Ball Cup, Master Ball version of the Prime Cup is done, so we've eventually completed the Prime Cup, everybody. It's time to celebrate. Um, for like a second, so let's go for a little bit. Okay, I think we made our point clear. So that's it for the stadium, everybody. Um, Next up, we're actually going to go over to Gym Leader Castle, um, but I'm actually going to cut the episode here now, just because those battles can take a while. So I'll see you guys in the next episode as we commence Gym Leader Castle. Okay, see you then. Bye.